faces a huge match with Newcastle United in the race to finish in the top four spots in the table this season with the Reds hoping to build on a much improved performance in Monday's Merseyside Derby. We asked fan Nick Sapia from LFC Boston a few questions about the Reds ahead of kickoff, including around the midfield and how should line the team up. A big week lies ahead, starting with Newcastle. What are you expecting? I don't want to get carried away, but I am very optimistic heading into this match. First, because the Reds are carrying some momentum into it following a good performance in the Derby, combined with some key players returning from injury. Secondly, I have doubts about how good Newcastle actually is. Diogo Hoda has just given the exact problem wants to have can finally unleash Borussia Dortmund planet and will thrive to their credit, they've managed to secure results and have been difficult to beat, but they've drawn five of their last seven and were outplayed by Bournemouth at home last weekend. Add in the fact that Newcastle will be missing, or dealing with their own injury issues, and have a cup final to worry about next weekend, and this is a match can win. A draw wouldn't be the end of the world, but I feel the three points are there for the taking. Is on the way back from injury. If can get into a decent position and then get him back, that would be ideal. There is no question that his return will be absolutely massive. His relentless energy will be a significant physical and emotional boost for what will hopefully be a strong finish to the season. He'll be curious to see how he's used once he returns. He was undoubtedly S best player before he got hurt, but at the same time, found his stride when he slotted in for Diaz on the left wing. I didn't feel that Nunez and Diaz clicked together earlier in the season because they seemed to want to occupy the same spaces. However, if they can get on the same page, the pace and danger they can create together is exciting. And Jordan Henderson looked much better against Everton. How hopeful are you that it was more than just a one-off? It was a performance from Henderson that shows you why he's the skipper. While the individual performances were a step in the right direction, the totality of the midfield performance was most promising and something that can be more than a one-off. As others have deftly pointed out, has been undergoing a tactical evolution under Klopp over the last season and a half or so, moving from the classic 4-3-3 to one that pushes more players forward into attacking positions, I. E. Harvey Elliott when he lines up on the right side of midfield. Specifically, as it relates to, one of the main issues this season has been that he's needed to cover more space in midfield due to that tactical shift, which has coincided with some physical decline. Looking back at his career stats, I am shocked by how much football he played at Monaco, he played more than 3,000 minutes in four consecutive seasons. Stefan S. presence in the midfield helps because he can be somewhere between a 6 and an 8 to provide a more solid defensive presence alongside, which allows Henderson more freedom to press and do all the things he did well against Everton. I.D. like to see this midfield as much as possible because of its effectiveness as a unit. suddenly has a lot more options available again, with Curtis Jones and Arthur Mello among those who didn't make the bench on Monday. What's S best team at the moment? Would you be tempted to make a change to playing with four forwards at all, now Diogo Hoda and Roberto Firmino have returned? It was exciting to look at the bench against Everton and see numerous options. The best lineup for Newcastle and or Real Madrid is Allison, Alexander-Arnold, Van Dyke, Gomez, Robertson, Henderson, Salah, Gakpo, Nunez. 
Having Hoda as a goal threat off the bench is a big plus. It's great to have Hoda and Firmino back, and finding ways to get them up to speed over the next few weeks will be necessary. However, I don't think is in a position to start matches with four forwards simply because I am not sure they've been able to train it enough, and it's still a work in progress. Opens transfer talks as target put up for sale Gimarais provides Bellingham clue as awaits summer transformation.